baby down for his first nap. It's like, I think like nine o'clock right now, 9.30. Drinking my hot lemon water. And I'm about to show you guys what I got from Bye Bye Baby. So yeah, good morning. Welcome to today's vlog. Hope everybody slept well. Cash got up at twice last night. He got up at two and he got up at four. But it's only like for five minutes. He just needs some teething gel in his pinky. Teething is no joke, you guys. It's rough. So, and Sean just woke up too. He's a lazy bum. Say, I lazy. I just sleep in. Why? I always sleep in for his first. Yeah. You know, I'm just teasing you. Okay, so I got him some of the Pampers Aqua Pure wipes. I got a whole box of them because they're one of my favorite wipes. Like, I won't use any other wipes for him. I've tried other wipes and they just uh, ended up being crap. So, those are the only wipes I use. And when I was at Baba Baby, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pick them up anyways. Pick them up while I'm here. Or, I was gonna pick them up while I was there. That way um, I didn't have to go to another store because they're hard to find lately with everything being sold out. It's super, super frustrating. So I got this guy for Sean. He really wanted him. It's the baby, it's not baby, the baby Yoda from Star Wars. It's the, I guess it's the child from Star Wars The Mandalorian. But he's super cool. He's got like a hard head and then like a soft body, but like hard hands. I don't think he does anything. I think he's just like an action figure. And then I got Cash, a soft plushy one. He's got beads in the bottom so that he'll he'll stay balanced. And then I got Cash some plain white onesies because you always need those and just a tip for moms out there don't get Gerber because they make their stuff out of 100% cotton and they shrink and then I got another one of those um, easy peasy uh, silicone cups look how little it is he's got three now this one green one and the uh, gray one This, I could just not pass up. It's a little baby Under Armour onesie. Isn't that the cutest dang thing? And then I got him these shorts to go with it. They're basketball shorts for babies. Oh my gosh. I cannot wait to put them in these. Who knew Under Armour made stuff for tiny little babies? And then I got him some Oshkosh shorts. They sell Oshkosh at Bye Bye Baby too. See, the Oshkosh shorts and they keep it. And uh, Brendan has a pair of shorts like this, so they're gonna match now. And then I got him this little letter book. It goes in the bath. It's got like it's the material that can get wet and each page squeaks. And then I got him this little roar tooting toy. It's got wood and silicone. I like to buy all of his toys, either wood or silicone, because it's the best material. And then I got him this teething rattle. It says World Changer. And it's by Bella Tuno. She made, makes all the bibs that I get. And she also, I didn't know, but also makes um, bowls and spoons and stuff. And I got him these spoons. Um, this one says Hunk. And this one says Stud Muffin. And they are dishwasher safe and BPA free, P PVC free. And they're made out of um, silicone. Super awesome. I love those. And I got him another pack of those. These ones say winner, winner, chicken dinner, and awesome sauce. I always say awesome sauce. I got those. And you guys remember his banana toothbrush that I got at Target? Well, they had colored ones at Bye Bye Baby, so I got him a blue one. And it could not pass this up. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of the Llama Llama books, but Netflix came out with a Llama Llama show and he watches that too. Well, there's a little Llama Llama like 
what do they call it, a soft book, and it crinkles, these pages crinkly, and it's awesome. I would, I'll have to open it and show you, but basically there's a mirror on this page, and then on this page is like a little flap. On this one, there's like something to touch. Like he just loves like playing with stuff like that. He loves those books that have the, the touching stuff and the flaps. And this makes noise. And I've been wanting to give him a noisy book like this, a noisy soft book. So that was perfect. And it was the last one. And then I got him a rubber ducky for the bathtub and, her, and little babies. And then I got him some more of the Burt's Bees Nourishing Body Oil. This is the best body oil ever. And I had a small bottle that was like this big. It was like a travel size and it lasted till just now. So this is gonna last me forever. Best stuff ever and it smells so good too. I put, him, I put that on him every other day when he takes a bath. And then I got one more bag. So this I didn't really need, but I couldn't pass it because it's gonna fit like his decor in his room so well. It says, always kiss me goodnight. I'm gonna put it right on that cubicle um, shelf that's in his closet. And then we love books. We read books every nap time and every bedtime. So I got him another book and it's a touchy feely and flap one. It's the Celebrate You, Celebrate Me, Sesame Street. He loves Sesame Street and Emma. And then I got him this. It's a fan that you can clip on the like anything it's awesome and it's funny because last night we're like he needs a fan in his room well we can clip this right to his crib and i'll have a little fan and it's i think it's battery powered let me see let's see yep battery powered perfect no cords and here's the bella tuno brand again peas don't kill my vibe it's a little silicone bowl let's see. These are awesome. And then I got um, one that says, every meal is a happy meal. And then last but not least, I got him this Baby Bum Natural Fragrance Shampoo and Wash. So it's ultra foaming wash with she minerals, manoil, coconut oil, banana, aloe and white ginger, vegan hypoallergenic, hypoallergenic and tear free. I have not tried this brand before, but um, I have seen good reviews on it. And so I was like, I gotta try it. So that's what it is. And they have all different kinds. Like it took me forever to pick out which one I wanted. So I think this one's like a foaming. And then the other ones are gel. And I like foaming stuff better. It's so much easier than the gel. So yeah. That is everything I got from Bye Bye Baby. Well, actually, no, I got him another book, but we read it to him last night. It was a dinosaur book. It's called Twinkle Twinkle Little Dinosaur. And that was super cute. So there was that. I think there's anything. Oh, and then I opened this up for him yesterday because he wanted it. It's a little plushy toy that sings the baby shark song. I would play it, but I'm afraid he would hear it. It's the cutest thing. And then they had like a hand puppet, but the hand puppet was overpriced. So yeah, it might seem like I go crazy and buy expensive things all the time, but I actually always, always look at price and I've always been that way. I have not had it easy, let me tell you. So no, I don't go around buying expensive stuff and not watching my money. Everything that I have been buying I literally need cash needed all this stuff there was not one thing in this pile that he didn't need except for that sign he didn't need the sign but i couldn't pass it up it was the last one left and every time i go to marshall's or tj maxx and i don't get something that i see that i want um i go back to get it later i'm like i should have got it and it's gone so i wasn't about to let that happen and he didn't need the the yoda but i got that because brennan likes star wars and the mandalorian so i got that like purely for Brendan. So yeah, um, that was about my baby trip. It's Christmas! <laughs> oh my gosh, so all these packages were downstairs. They didn't bring them up to the, the second floor for me, so I didn't know, so this lady, our neighbor, it's okay, came and knocked 
on the door and was like, you got all these packages downstairs, so Sean's out there, down there getting them for me. Let's see if he's struggling and out there for a minute. Are those the last two? Here, I'll grab the little one. The little one? <laughs> I got my phone. You're, you're strict. I think that's our pots and, I think that's our pots and pans. There's, there's Here, pans. you. Ooh, this is our pots and pans. So exciting. This is heavy though, holy cow. I'm weak. I know. Oh. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm done. She wasn't kidding when she said there was a bunch of packages for Mama, was she? <gasps> Just got done eating lunch? Yeah. What did you have? <gasps> so I had turkey meatballs and I had cheesy potatoes. Cash right here with me. He's in his bumbo playing with his toys. And we're gonna go ahead and unbox these. Here, this is my mirror for my entryway table. And Target. If it opens on the sides too. There's my mirror. And it's gold, it's gold around the corner, so I'll show you guys when I put it up on the uh um entry table. Alright, let me see those eyelashes. Alright, you are done? Yeah. Right, I'm gonna go put him to bed and then we'll finish that later. Okay, baby boy is asleep and hopefully when he wakes up he's happier. It's so stressful when he doesn't nap because, or like if he takes a short nap because he's just so irritable. And the reason why he woke up from his nap is because he pooped. And once he was up, he was just up. I was, now that I'm thinking about it, I should have probably tried and put him back down. But I'll just do that next time. Learn as you go. It's just hard. love being at home with him every day but sometimes it's really really hard because you run out of things to do so i think i'm gonna look up some fun activities to do with him I'm trying to limit his screen time just like i limit sean's screen time um i try to limit him to only being able to watch tv a certain amount of, during the day and uh i just gotta look up some activities it's hard with a little one you know but he's getting to the age where i think he can start doing some stuff i'm opening up his spoons right now silicone spoons and then um I have three sleep sacks which is very convenient because when I got just the one I didn't take into consideration that he's gonna get dirty you know he might pee on them or what our problem is he gets his teething cream all over everything it's a brown color um, because it has a uh, chamomile in it so it gets all over everything so I got him another sleep sack because they always come in handy. And this one is a lightweight one for summer. I need to get him a heavyweight one for winter. He's got three other ones that are just like a normal weight. Um, I need to get him like a heavyweight one too because he gets cold in the middle of the night. But I wish they made long sleeve sleep sacks because his arms are what get really cold. His arms and his hands. This is what it looks like. Cute little elephants on it. And it's like that muslin material that those... um. Uh, swaddles are made out of and I've been waiting for this oh my gosh I can't even tell you it's been like six months no not that long cash is about to be eight months and I've been wanting to get this since he was about four months old so four months and it's been out of stock and even in the store and it just got back in stock and I snatched one. We were supposed to go up north for 4th of July, but it was way too hot up there and they canceled the fireworks show. That's the only reason I wanted to go up there was for the fireworks show because they, they had a really awesome fireworks show up in St. Helen, but they canceled it. They canceled the fireworks shows everywhere, but that's why I ordered this. But now I have it for when we go up next time or when we go anywhere. It's gonna, it's like gonna be one of the best purchases I've ever made because this will last him until he's like five maybe even bigger like Sean could sleep in this it's that big it's a travel crib so I'm not the traditional playpen kind of girl I feel like playpens are very uncomfortable and very impractical very hard to set up 
and they're just poorly made and they don't last for when they get like really big but this will last until he's like I said probably five I'll show it to you I'll open this up Have all different colors but i wanted the black one because black uh, they don't have white though if they had white i would have got white but yeah i didn't like the gray one the gray one looked kind of weird that's it for the unboxing video and now i'm gonna go ahead and get these pots and pans all taken out i'm so excited for those 